So seeing that it's been almost a month since I released the last tech demo and also seeing that I've made a very significant amount of changes to the movement system and the movement system is in a state that actually feels good. It's got some bugs, but it feels really good. I wanted to release it while I work on the netcode. Um, and just I'm going to go over here. This one's coming with two maps. You can select them by going through the different game modes. It defaults to CTF, which has Necropolis. This, and you can select deck as well when you select deathmatch. Um, the settings menu doesn't work at the moment, but one of the things you'll notice is there's no multiplayer section and there's also no mutator section. I've been messing around with the HUD and such trying to get things working. Um, so these are all just, but the defaults work fine. So I'm going to load up Necropolis. And this is the map I suggest everybody um, learn the movement system on, just because this map actually, even though it's an Unreal Tournament map, it actually plays really well. I've made some minor changes to flag placement, and then I just removed all of the Unreal Tournament assets, like guns and things. Um, but weirdly, the map actually works pretty well. Um, the curves and such lend well to the jetpack. So, this is the map I would suggest everybody play when they want to kind of just get a feel for the movement system. Deck is a map I'd play, it's so small that deck it feels almost more like what a base would feel like i mean the entirety of the map is that small but at the same time deck also could be a map i could see being something like a dual map um maps being that small so both maps are i would suggest playing on just to see what's up but otherwise the there have been some minor changes aside from the movement fov is now calculated using your horizontal or rather not your horizontal your vertical what am i talking about the default is horizontal, um, which means your left, right, that's what your FOV is defined as when you when you change it. Um, vertical FOV is better in most cases, though, so that's why I've changed it. And the reason being is that it's, uh, for people that are running widescreen setups, when you have a wide FOV and you have horizontal, it means that you have a really narrow vertical FOV, which is kind of a problem. Um, the other things, bug-wise, there are launch bugs. Uh, people from who are coming from Ascend think rock routes. For everybody else, it really just feels like you'll hit a surface and occasionally, uh, in specific spots, you'll notice it happens very often. I'll show you like one right here. There's the launch, okay. Last video is I've, I've recorded a few of these and I haven't been able to get the launch to happen, but that actually is the launch. You saw that as soon as I hit this surface and I jumped, I, uh, launched forward with more speed than i landed this is a bug and it's working i'm working on it so any bugs that are related to launching i don't really need to hear about i actually know what they come from otherwise the only other bug that i know of is or bug that i know of at the moment rather is that in first person there's no walking noises in third person there is though for other players there's always walking noise so it doesn't really matter at the moment but it's one of those things i don't actually don't know when it was broken because i normally test with the sound off uh, otherwise, if you have any questions or comments, you can of course post in the YouTube comments page or on the game forums. And if you have any bugs, I would appreciate hearing about it on the game forums. Um, that's it for this video. And I hope everybody has some fun with the new movement system and just, I don't know, enjoys it, I suppose. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Go download.